Hello everybody, Kaiju Lu here. And Sega Sean. And welcome to Zone 14 of the Super Game Strikers podcast. The official podcast of... Z Game Strikers. And to start things off, it is my turn for the video game fun fact of the week. And the video game fun fact of the week is... Did you know that legendary horror movie director George A. Romero directed the Japanese commercial for Resident Evil 2? Well, he did, and... Um, Originally, even before that, he was actually picked to be the original director for the original Resident Evil movies, and um, he wrote a 97-page script about it, and a full script was done. Even a promotional poster for his version of the movie was set to, until last minute Capcom decided, for some unknown reason, I don't understand it either, they decided to drop Romero and pick... Um, Paul Anderson. Oh. Paul W.S. Anderson, known for making such shit flick movies as our current Resident Evil movies, as well as that Three Musketeers reboot, Pompeii. Oh. I think he directed Eon Flux, probably, because his wife stars in it, too, and he makes his wife star in everything. She was also in Three Musketeers. And Resident Evil, yeah. Yeah. So, thanks a lot. Capcom. Thank you, Capcom, <laughs> for and, your usual... <laughs> you know, George Romero, yeah, he's, uh, for many of you who don't know, George A. Romero was the godfather of zombies. He pretty much was the founder of the original zombie, and he made such class classics as the original Dead trilogy, mm -hmm. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and, uh, as well as several others. And, um... But yeah, here is uh, your fun fact of the week. George A. Romero, he didn't direct the movies, but he did direct the Japanese version of the Resident Evil 2 commercial. At least he tried. <laughs> he, he, he's had a lot of crap for his zombie movies. And it's video a, game work too, right? He, he's worked on a few video games. It's not the first time because, you know, like his original Dead trilogy, Night was a classic, Dawn mm. was the greatest. Yeah. Day, the third one, it's... It's a classic as well, but it's not as good as the other ones claim to be. But that day was actually going to be his biggest project. But because what happened was it was going to be a really big budget zombie movie in the 80s. And he was actually going to make it an unrated, an X-rated movie mm -hmm. because of all the gore-tastic stuff we were going to get. But the problem is uh, the movie people that were in charge, I forgot the company's name. They gave him two choices. They're like... Um, we will, um, oh my god, what was it? We would, um, give you an R rate. Um, you could have the bigger budget, the bigger money, but it has to be an R rating. Mm. So, the lessening of the gore. Or, you could keep it at your unrated, um, your X-ratedness, as much gore as you want, but the budget, budget is going to be slashed by half. And so, that was why the movie, the whole entire thing took place in an underground base, he was gonna take. He was, it was gonna take place outside, all over the place. It was gonna be a big bunch of zombie movie, but wow. shit like that happens. But you know probably why, right? Probably because with an X rating, you have a limited audience. You know, like I mean, you know, of course, older people like our age and stuff could go, but it's still kind of limited. You limit a lot of people to an X rating, where you know they don't want to put a lot of money into it. If you had an R rating, you'll have a bigger audience, so the budget will go into bigger use for the company. Most likely, that might be the reason, I would say, at least. Oh, yeah, they had a lot of stuff like Dawn. Yeah. That was going to have a lot more stuff to it, because mm -hmm. I read about his original ideas for it, but yeah. the directors were like, you're taking this way too far. <laughs> Calm down. Because uh, there was a scene about zombies eating a fetus, and... Ooh. They're like, yeah, you got. We can't do that. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and George is bad. like, this is art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that's not good. But no, George Romero, bless your soul, sir. You are the greatest. And also, Sean, um, I'm not going to name her name, but do you remember our student art teacher senior year in high school, Miss Brown? Or no, she was a little. She was our art teacher's assistant in senior year. You want me to name Mr. L or? <laughs> Mr. L, Miss M. Miss Martin. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't going to name her, but... <laughs> How can I forget? She actually met George Romero one time. Oh, that's And she actually cool. got a poster signed from him. Ooh. So, um. I'm jealous about that. 
But anyway, video game fun fact of the week. Cool, cool. And now on to some video game news. Oh. Batman Arkham Knight is apparently getting a Game of the Year edition. Yeah. And uh, was this said to be revealed at E3 or shown Most at likely E3? it'll be shown off at E3, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, Game of the Year edition may be announced soon, as it was listed on a GameStop website that you yeah. discovered yourself. Well, I didn't discover or... myself. I read through an article or whatever. I've seen the link, though. It is true. It has been listed, not in America, but I think maybe Europe or something like that. And, oh, uh, Europe. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, I mean, to be Which honest... Which means they probably are getting it first. Maybe, maybe. I mean, th that happens a lot where a game will be listed in another country or something, and then we find out, and we all, we all freak out or whatever, but yeah, I kind of was expecting this because the other games have had Game of the Year editions, and also the game is like $30 already, or 40 That's lower, and, I'm, and I see that I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm actually, actually kind of glad now, because mm -hmm. this makes me happy because, you know, I'm, it was kind of, it's kind of worth it for me to... Waited out on Arkham Knight. Oh, definitely. Because as you know, I still don't own it. I still yeah. never played it. Yeah, now you get all the DLC and stuff. I don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like I did with uh, Arkham City, mm -hmm. when um, I, <laughs> I didn't even play the game till like two years later. Wow, I didn't know and that. And then, because I picked up the Game of the Year edition, as soon as I found it, I was like, oh, cool. I mean, I, you know, I get all with the free DLC. The one with all that red writing, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and it was only 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks, you get the full game plus all the DLC for free. Yeah, you know, that's, yeah. I got it because we got the PlayStation 4 Batman oh, yeah. bundle. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would have waited. I wait for my games now, except if I really need them. <laughs> Which is why, yeah, when it comes to Batman, I'm like, you know what? I'm waiting for the Game of the Year edition. Yeah. <laughs> I think Arkham Origins didn't have a Game of the Year edition. That's the only one that no. No, no, yeah, no, it didn't. Well, because, you know, that's the least popular one of the series, probably. You know, the but, Wii U uh, has a Arkham City edition, too, right? Like an exclusive one where Batman has exclusive powers. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's you can find it for 20 bucks. Powers? Uh, like, remember those electric gloves from oh. Arkham Origins? That actually started in, oh, okay. in uh, that. So that, you, have, you get to do codes and stuff on the Wii U gamepad. You know, that kind of stuff. So, oh, yeah. okay, then, cool, cool. And uh, on to some Sonic the Hedgehog news. <laughs> we got uh, quite a few here. Sonic Runners will be shutting down. Yeah. Would you care to elaborate a little bit more on Hell that? Oh, no, no. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, no. Um, I, I'm kind of surprised, but then again, I don't know. Main characters like Sonic or Mario. Excuse or my question, but what is Sonic Runners? <laughs> Sonic Runners is a... And for those who don't know. Sonic Runners is a mobile app game, um, obviously, and uh, all you do is run if you didn't get the title, except it's on a 2D plane. It's not 3D like a... What's that one? Subway Runners? Crash Runners? I don't know, whatever, but basically a lot of runner games, like Temple Run, you may have heard that oh. name, you know how it looks, right? I was right? addicted to it. Oh, you you were? Okay, you know how it's 3D? Yeah. Sonic Dash. You played that, right? Didn't you, or no? I don't know. It's, all right, all right. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. know. It's literally like that, except it's on 2D. And it was actually, it actually wasn't a bad mobile game. There was tons of music that was actually really good. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why they're shutting it down, because it's, I don't know, in their most recent financial report before this news was spread... It wasn't doing that good, so maybe they were like, okay, you know, just X it off, you when know? When did it come out? Uh, a, year, a year and a half ago, I think. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I, I don't really mind. I mean, I, I had my time with it. It was fun, but it takes so long to get to the final level. I, I didn't There's even like it. world records and stuff. Oh, and yeah, yeah. It, it's others. not that bad. The frame rate was a little choppy at times, and I didn't like it about it, but otherwise, it was a good game. So, I'd say it's run its course. Well... Rest in pepperoni, Sonic, Sonic runners. runners. Well, for some things that get shut down, old things get revived. Yeah. As with this piece of news, a Sonic fan had actually bought the original Sonic Adventure website and restored it. Yeah, yeah. Not everything is there. I've checked it on myself. But it's cool. You know, it's it's pretty cool to see. It's, it's a 90s website. There's not that much there, but... To see character bios, and actually, I've seen some exclusive art I've never seen before on there, so it's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. But it's actually the real, authentic 
websites. Basically, um, world rankings. I didn't even know they had actual rankings for time attacks and stuff. Like, when you would play the level as fast as you can, there were actually world rankings posted on there. So that's before online mode, you know, with Call of Duty and whatnot. That That is before that. This is a 90... 90- Nine nine ninety nine September ninth nineteen ninety nine. That's pretty crazy. So, um, but Sega Dreamcast was the first to have internet. So you know, first time, first system to have DLC and stuff. Like for Halloween, they had Halloween stuff in the levels and everything. It's kind of cool. So first time for everything, I guess. <laughs> I want. I don't know. I'm just like, how does a person go by restoring old? How does a person? <laughs> and, how much? Well, I'm Sonic sure died it, for our sins, so... Well, anyway, there is a, a Supersonic sale going on, and what is this Supersonic sale, Sega Sean? You have it written down, don't you? Because <laughs> I don't know all the games. I just had a giant letter, Supersonic sale. Oh, well... You said there's a big sale on Sonic oh. games oh. that a lot of people would like to know about. Well, I guess so. There's a Sonic Triple Trouble, which stars you, by the way. That's one of your first appearances besides Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and you're playing those tricks, as usual, setting those traps for Sonic Coup to fall in, and then you got Sonic Generations, Sonic Lost World, all for half the price, so that's not that bad. I think on Wii U and 3DS, but for the most it is 3DS. Somebody didn't write down the name of the games, I'm sorry, Lewis! But where is this, in the eShop, or <laughs> yeah. both Wii U and 3DS? Uh, yeah. Yeah, check okay. the 3DS for sure. I'm not because too I haven't sure. been on the eShop in a while. So do they have like its own section where it says big yeah. Sonic Super Sale? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm wearing Capcom has a sale. They're like big Capcom sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or big Sega sale. Yeah, it has its own section for the Wii U. Don't quote me on it because I don't remember if it was for Wii U, but for sure, 3DS. So how yeah. long is the sale good for? It goes to June, June 9th, I believe. So you got some days left. I got over a week left. Yeah, if not, it go, it'll go longer than that. We didn't write down the notes, so I mean... <laughs> uh, we're lost. <laughs> you suggested this. Uh, <laughs> Supersonic sale. You're a Sonic fan. You're a Sega fan. Go check it out. Yeah, I checked it out. I'm a little... I don't to have the games. I guess I'll sell them. And now on to some Nintendo news. Super Mario Brothers is having its own Monopoly game. Isn't this the second time or third time? I think it's the second or third time. I was about to ask you that. I was yeah. like, didn't Mario already have his own Monopoly? Yeah, but with the... But this is the retro Mario. This is the retro. Oh, so retro it's Mario. A different. A lot of Monopoly out there. We got a so Sonic many. Monopoly. We got Pokemon Monopoly. We got Legend of Zelda Monopoly. Mm. We got a Monopoly for every Nintendo game. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Actually, it's kind of true. Except anyway. Pikmin, they don't get in. I was just thinking Pikmin to bring them up. Does Donkey Kong have Monopoly? No. <laughs> well, it's his 35th, so. <laughs> well, I mean. Reggie doesn't oh. think of everybody. I mean, look at Metroid. Oh, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Am I right, my, my Metroid all, fans? It's all well and good, but me and Sean don't know how to play. Um, we yeah, tried we... it one time, but Pandamir took us apart, saying we're doing it all wrong. This is yeah. not how she did it. She's a very... Uh... And we kind of gave up on that. <laughs> we just gave up. You know. Yeah, so... Never again for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please... <laughs> Ooh. And are you okay? Uh, <laughs> I was looking at your Monopoly board over oh, there. Oh, yeah. I'm like, are you sure about that? The drug's over there. I, I've had that thing. That's, the, that's, a, that's, that's, an, that's an original style one. I've had the thing since before I was born. Well, let's play. That was like... And, believe it or not, of all the board games I've had all my life, Operation, Pop Perfection, the little... Oh, dude, we gotta play Perfection. I don't have that anymore. Yeah, that red thing with the do 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 do. Yeah, I don't oh, have that. Oh shit, I have that. Out of all my board games, that Monopoly right there is still intact. All the pieces are there. Everything's in good shape. That's that's. That was good. because a little kid. I never touched it. Oh. <laughs> I no idea what to <laughs> oh, do money, with it. No. Uh, you know, oh. it's all just a small loan of a million dollars. So. They should make a Donald Trump edition of Monopoly. I'd buy it just because it's going to be great. <laughs> just pointing in the middle of the board. It's going to be huge. You got a Hillary figure. You got a Bernie figure. <laughs> you got ISIS in the corner. Oh my God. There's like <laughs> there's like walls everywhere that you can put up. That's perfect. Get on that internet. 
money idea. There you go. Well, we just uh, we just talked about the idea, so someone's gonna steal it, and we're not gonna get the credit. Well, who listens to us? Can you honestly? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, can you honestly answer that? Mitomo is becoming a social media ghost town. What happened, Sega Sean? Oh gosh. Why is it a ghost town? I thought this was supposed to be the the next big Nintendo thing since Nintendo's going Ooh. mobile. Mobile. Since Nintendo's going mobile. Oh. You know, all these big things and Mitomo was this big opener, <laughs> this big gate opener <laughs> for them. What happened? Well, I'll tell ya. <laughs> All it is, literally, is, you know, how you like to play with your Miis, and I don't mean a little guy, I mean, <laughs> the Wii U and the, the Wii, making all these Miis and stuff. It has a lot of fun features, like, uh, you can dress up your me, you know, you pervert, and, you know, just, you dress up your Mii, and you literally can meet other Miis, which are your friends, and... You actually get to swear in a Nintendo game. That was like I was about a big to say, thing. They, I'm like, they allow swearing and they just let it by. Mm -hmm. For the first time, literally, you can actually swear. And it says it. You're me. You know how me Tome. Or I'm sorry. Me. What's that one 3DS game? Uh, the one with all the me's. Pilot Wings Resort? No, no. No, the one with the apartment building. I showed you it. With oh, you, I have. Tomodachi it. Life. Tomodachi Life. You know how they have their voices, it's all like morphed or whatever. Robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they say the words. It could be any word you want, so it's hilarious. You are a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. No, it says it even better than that. But oh, anyway. Wow. okay. You it's can... Not... Motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, you know, the novelty just kind of wore off. <laughs> Mario was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of good. <laughs> Carlos was like, oh. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it's just a... Uh, it just ran its course. I keep on saying that. I said that already, but it's true. There really wasn't much to go back on. You go back It was just there, a gimmick. It was a gimmick. Honestly, it was. It's because, pretty much DLC for your Miis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you could play these drop games, but they were based on chance. So it was like, okay. And it was interesting to swear and also talk to your friends in me talk, but... And it was like Facebook. That's literally what it was. It was like kind of like a Facebook clone. You could make pictures, which was kind of cool. But I only played it for like three weeks. And honestly, I just dropped off. I, I, I visited it like two more times after that. And I'm like, you know what? There's just not much, that much dragging me back to this. It had a strong start. But that's because the Nintendo name was I would was say, didn't they say, like, a certain number of people? Oh, like yeah. a large number of people. It was that huge. Were, huge. Over 500,000, something huge. like that. It was huge. And, but, I, like I said, it's just the attraction. There was nothing there to bring us back. So, mm -hmm. unless if they make a huge update. It's a nice idea, but, eh, it just didn't didn't do well. Well, Dom Arigato, Mr. Mitomo. Ditto. Mighty Number no. 9 comes out June 21st. No Are one you? has any hope anymore for that This game. is supposed to be the the next Mega Man. Oh, I beg to differ. No, you know what? It had a lot of hype, but again, with a lot of hype. I know, the hype kind of really died down. It did. You know why? Delays. Delays, <laughs> delays. I remember I used to keep hearing all the time about last year, you wouldn't shut up about it. Oh, I was hyped. That, was that's, hyped. How, that's how I know the difference. Like, you don't care anymore. I don't. Like, a lot you, of you people don't care. don't care. And they're marketing. And I'm the one that's finally hyped about <laughs> Why are you hyped about it? See, <sighs> you know what it was to me when I... I seen that Kickstarter project. The concept art looked really cool. It was 2D. And oh, come on, really? No, I'm about something else. Okay. No, the concept art was like really cool. Like it was 2D. It looked like it was painted. Like it was like a painted art style, like a Wario Shake It, where it was cartoony. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, whoa! If it's like this, I am on board. But then they revealed it, and it, the 3D's kind of weird looking. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. It just it looks kind of generic, I guess you could say. And all this promise, and then the delays and stuff, it just mm, it kind of died down for a lot of people. And now... There was never a demo for this, was it? What, did a demo come out for it? I, oh, they showed off gameplay. Oh. There was no demo, though. Mm. Um, I don't know. The hype's kind of died down. It's probably out in Japan by now. Or no, it's been no, out. It's not, not in out. Japan either? No. Because oh, Japan usually gets all this stuff a whole year before Oh, us. well. <laughs> no, I know. But no, it's... Uh, I don't know, the hype has just died down. Oh. I, I'm still going to get it, but I'm not expecting a whole lot from it. If it's a full $60 game, though, I'm not getting a deal. Oh, no, of course. It's probably, wait, it's not going to be a physical game. It's going to be a download. Physical. It physical. physical. They raised enough money for physical. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> because with the next game, which I'm about to talk about, Azure Striker Gun Vault. Mm -hmm. um, well, no one gives a shit, so. <laughs> 
just recently, <laughs> Azure oh. Striker Gunvolt has surpassed over 160,000 downloads Not money. on Nintendo 3DS since its release back in August of 2014, which was made by Inti Creates. Mm. And um, that is. Azure Striker Gunvolt 2 will be coming out soon as well. I can't and wait. Both of these guys, Azure Striker and Mighty Number no. 9, along with that other girl that they created, they all had a crossover game. Oh. Where all three of them teamed up. You beat the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I did. It was all right. <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. For It took me an hour. It literally did. I didn't mind it though. Because I have I have the first Azure Striker and it's really good. Oh wow. It's good. It's Mega Man. It's pretty much like the new version of Mega Man X. Yeah. You got Mighty Number no. Nine is the original Mega Man and Azure Striker is just this new Mega Man X. You you could just see with the the, the music, the, the the background. Yeah. Just the 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 two D side scrolling. You know, all this Mega Man love. Really good. I oh, can't wait for it. All this Mega Man love. I wonder what Capcom's got up their sleeve. For Mega Man, anytime. Well, soon. not Mega Man Legends three. I can tell. Oh. You that. <laughs> oh. All right, but if you're a big fan of Mighty Number no. Nine, if you're still on that high train or what's left of it, yeah, it's kind of you know, derailed. Be sure to get ready June twenty first, as well as Azure Striker Gunvolt two, which should be coming out sometime soon. You know the marketing campaign, right? What the guy says. Play, get it so you won't be in lo a lonely anime kid at night or whatever, crying at night, something like that. I'm like, you realize that anime kids are into this, right? So you are, you just slashed the demographic right there. You just pushed them to the side. Well, sometimes they make fun of their own fans like that. Oh, yeah, but oh, I can't do it. The weebs don't care. They oh. don't even understand humor. <laughs> But Weeb Man Jr., you are the yes, one! Yes, I am the ultimate Weeb, so I'm kind of contradicting myself. Dude, Weeb Man Jr. We've established that. Anyway, <laughs> some Splatoon one-year anniversary news. There is something for Splatoon's one-year anniversary. It was last Saturday. We thought nothing. there was nothing going on. We thought they just completely ignored it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> but uh, a second volume of Sheldon's Picks will be arriving... <laughs> Next week. Nobody knows what those are. <laughs> on June 7th, pretty much eight new weapons. Aren't they just amplified weapons? Like they're they're combined with stuff or something? I don't even know what Sheldon's Picks 1 was. <laughs> I didn't know either. When they announced that with the Nintendo Direct, I did not know. The only thing I care about is that I hope there's a new arrow spray. Because we really, really need a new arrow spray machine gun. Because since we've had the, the gold one, the RG, I think that was the last one. That's enough. All they've had was brushes and Why aren't you scrubs. happy with what you have? Because I want a new upgrade of oh, arrow spray. Oh, is that how it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. That's my main weapon. Oh, well, I have salutations. Which I'm at level 33 right now, so oh. 17 more levels to the big 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you? Oh, you're still a 38. I'm catching up. <laughs> No, I'm gonna play. <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna be fifty before you. Now I'm gonna play. Oh, I'm gonna get there before you. You lost interest long ago. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Even when the new stages came out, like the latter ones, I was like, oh, I don't know about oh, this. But not enough for you to not get those Cali Marie amiibos. Hey, they're mine. But anyway, um, <laughs> um. We got another pick for you right now, but it's a uh, it's a cancer pick, which is time for this week's a cancer cancerous, pick. What a cancerous <laughs> meme of the week. Usually, like smell in the air. Right? Just, 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 just play along. Okay. <laughs> oh, and, our, and our cancerous meme of the week is I picked this myself because I'm already sick and tired of this. It's the caveman SpongeBob <laughs> memes. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's. From an episode of Spongebob where he goes caveman. Yeah, and Squidward travels back in time. Yeah, there you go. And But now people use that image of him. <laughs> he looks like he's on high alert. And yeah, they use his, he's like, oh. and They use it for any kind of situation. It, it could be from a masturbation joke all the way to terrorism. Like <laughs> when this. you're working in the South Tower and you're in the North Tower collapse. But, you know, it, it was funny at first. It was funny. But then... I'll be honest, it just became the worst. It is. It just became the absolute worst thing ever. I blame Ashley why? Jordan. <laughs> why? Why? Because it hasn't... The reason why is because out of all the cancer memes that we've talked about, 
this one, this one right here, it hasn't even been a full week yet. And it's already gotten out of hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all you, you see. You know why, right? Because it's a, a certain Game Strikers member, Ashley Jordan. Oh. Oh, no. How could you, I Ash? didn't say her full name. Sean did. There's a ton of Ashley Jordans out there. Oh, that kind of helps. But, um... <laughs> we're calling you out, basically. <laughs> no, no, we love what you did, Ashley. But I mean, they were funny. It, it's gotten. Out it of just hand. got a little out of hand. It was overkill. It's... They there's even Holocaust ones in black and white. <laughs> no, I love the picture. You know, what? I'm going to show it on when the you're screen. in <laughs> when you're in the chamber, but finally realize it's not a shower. No, yeah, when you when you realize it's not a shower, yeah. I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now, which basically describes the meme right there. It's like when you react to something. That's all it is. <laughs> you know, that's is. what I got. That's all I got to say about it. Like, with any other joke, you know, it's funny at first, but when it gets, when it goes into overkill and it gets overly done and overly used, it just stops being funny and you just start going, you just start. <laughs> it's still uh, kind of funny, though. At times, it catches me off guard. I guess. But anyway... You guys be the judge of this, so Cancerous Meme of the Week, Caveman Spongebob means that fits any drastic situation. <laughs> they are kind of funny still. It's just not in overdoses, you know? Um, uh, but I'm, as soon as I log on Facebook, that's all that I see 95% <laughs> of the time. Yeah. On to movie and TV news. Um, Speaking of Mega Man, Mega Man is having a new TV show coming soon. Capcom uh, really loves Mega Man. <laughs> Doesn't look really promising. <laughs> he looks so generic. Um, first of all, is this going to be on Cartoon Network? Or um, I don't know. Did you ever clarify with me first before you started this conversation? Well, you're the one that was hyped about it. So. <laughs> no. <sighs> They're making Mega Man human. Again? Isn't you said again? it's a, you said he's a schoolboy named <laughs> Aki Light. No, I, I know, but I mean, did, wasn't he in battle... Thing, that one cartoon he had before. Yes, Mega Man NT Warrior. Yeah, he was a human, or was that his... No, he was a video game character. Oh. He was controlled by a kid. Oh, that's... But I thought this was a school kid that transforms into... No, no, Mega it's Man. exactly that, though. Mm, I, thought, no. I thought that... Well, I never watched it. i just seen it get made fun of a million times for... It well, was alright. I kind of liked it. Oh, well... This is coming from... It made, a lot of, it made a lot of games. Battle Network was a huge series. No, Mega Man Battle well, Network. played it. Lots of people play. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, have you even considered that nobody plays? Well, anyway, it uh, the kid's name is Aki Light. Uh, He's Mega Man. Light is he Doctor Light's son? Is he Doctor Light's probably. grandkid? I would say is that. Is Doctor Light in the in the show? God, they're gonna make Doctor Light into like a hipster looking guy. Well, 2016. <laughs> He's gonna have like a freaking man bun and everything. Oh. You know, um, but the problem is, you know, it looks really generic, the way he looks. Yeah, he looks so generic. It looks like it's animated in Flash, as usual. Yeah. If they can do it right, then I'll only watch the first episode, and I will make my judgment, judgments from there. <laughs> uh, hey. You sat through the one with that kid named Idaho. <laughs> Wait, what, what one? That Mega Man cartoon, the kid's name was oh, Idaho. Oh, that was cute, though. I mean, all right, yeah, it was gaudy, but... God awful, but I mean, it was still cute. At least it's a freaking cartoon where they drew Mega Man in his original form without friggin' anything up. So is this show just called Mega Man or Mega Man something? Oh, I don't know. I, uh, they just said the kid's name. Ah, he liked. <laughs> Mega Man TV show. Be sure to tune in. Uh, no, no. Uh, X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, is out. It's a movie. It met with unfavorable reviews. <laughs> what else is new to be honest? Like, what else is new in movies? Unless if it's like a Marvel movie, that's it. You're done. No more. A lot of a lot of these new big movies are all meeting bad reviews. Angry Birds. <laughs> yeah. It's number one, but not the reviews. <laughs> no. Warcraft. It came out in foreign countries, and already the the reviews for that is. <laughs> And, um, X-Men, yeah. Say la vie. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the most recent one, Days of Futures Past. I'm not going to see this one because I'm already going to be confused. I've already seen the trailer. I don't know. A couple people said that it was good, but then again, these are people that I don't even trust. So. <laughs> Probably the Marvel X-Men fans who stuck by it. No, there's like this one guy tempted to say his name but he's just optimistic about everything always sharing terrible articles that make no sense and he's like i can't wait for this and i click on the article date 2011 i'm like oh 
bits from years ago, you prick. Uh, Zelda on Netflix. Yeah, basically. Be sure to check that out. He's one of them. He's like, I hope it's all right. I'm like, dude, it's from a year ago. Uh... Doctor Strange got a reveal trailer. I can't wait for well, that's this been, one. That's been out for a while, actually. I'm going to say it now. Well, you just seen it in the trailer for the movie that you just saw. And 10,000 times on YouTube. Oh. I am hyped about it. Benedict Cumberpatch, they could not have picked a better person to play the Doctor. Mm. And uh, Benedict Cumberpatch, as you guys know, plays Sherlock in the BBC's series of the mm-hmm. title character Sherlock, mm-hmm. as well as the voice of Smaug, <laughs> the dragon from the Hobbit movies, mm-hmm. as well as many other movies. He's being in a lot of big movies now, so he's really... Oh, that marks the second person from a Hobbit movie in a Marvel movie. Civil Bill War had... Yeah, the... it wasn't a funny to Which see Which he was him. only in there for like 30 seconds, but I'm yeah, like... Yeah, for the first scene, 30 seconds. Next, he was in there a little bit longer. I'm like, okay. Did you have a smile on your face when you seen him, though? I was more like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I was like, what are you doing here, midget? <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, Martin F- Martin Freeman, I, I love you too. <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Well, I, never, yeah. I don't know about Doctor Strange, but if you're well, happy I'm with it... Well, I'm going to teach you after this. I don't podcast. really want to know. But uh, just, Especially the ending when he was going up the stairs in his cape. Oh, my God. Well, hopefully it's good. That I is... Hope. I hope, hope I hope the best for you. I hope you. they throw him in the Avengers too. That would be cool. That'll be epic. I hope it I hope it works out for you guys, <laughs> the fans of Doctor Strange. Oh man. Um some updates on this new 007 reboot for you guys who don't know 007. Daniel Craig left. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it anymore. I didn't know you're a fan of 007. Uh I'm just announcing the news on 007. I'm not saying that I'm a fan of oh, it. Oh, because you don't seem like the type to like this series at all, to be honest. I'm like Daniel Craig. <laughs> That's pretty bad. He's got those big lips. Ooh. Monster lips. Monster lips. Yeah, have you seen those things? <laughs> Monster suckers. Uh, what the hell um, are we doing with our life? The other day, like, a scene... Like, on TV, they were playing a Bond marathon. They had Casino Royale on. My mom's complaining. She's like, oh, Daniel Craig, he's ugly. Look at that face and everything. But that scene where he's in a Speedo coming out of the water, my mom's like, oh. That's a <sighs> lot of information. I don't think the viewers wanted to know. I know. I'm oh. just like, uh, <laughs> Anyway, know, Daniel Craig left after these movies, I guess. He was, you know, his contract expired. Because he only had to do, he was only contracted to do a certain number of them. They were mm-hmm. like... Here you go, do another one. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> Please, no. He even turned down millions and millions and wow, millions. Millions. That's, that's crazy. Rumor has it, I don't know if this is true or not, he turned down $99 million. Mm, that's a be, lot. Jeez. <laughs> he, well, he's more, nice. he's more than rich enough. But. I guess so, but hey, a little bit more in the bank. Am I right, Scrooge? <laughs> anyway, um, rumor has it that they're going to reboot 007 and they're going to want a woman to play the new James Bond, a.k.a. Jane Bond, and a candidate now, Gillian Anderson, who played Agent Scully in the X-Files. They want her to play the next James Bond. But how do you feel about it? Also, on more rumors is that Tom Hiddleton, the guy who played Loki in the Avengers and Thor movies, yeah. he's throwing his name in, too, to play James Bond as well. So... Is he English? He is, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. He's oh, I, don't know. I just want to be sure. Is he Australian? <laughs> Triggered. So I, um, I guess I could see it. Yeah. He's a good that? actor. I, I like him. These are all just some news, and uh, so yeah. It's 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 Ghostbusters all over again for me, <laughs> with the whole woman thing and also reboot. I'm not sexist in any way, shape, or form, so Come don't. On. Put that idea in your head. <laughs> so the commenters are already going crazy. We'll save this for another day, but here is your movie and Bond news. Wait, this is this lady. She's in the X Files. That means yes. she's pretty good at that kind of stuff, right? So what is, I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know what X Files is? Aliens, <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> the whole Illuminati confirmed song. Well, I mean, uh, I. As long as she does okay, I don't think... Well, with Ghostbusters, they're ruining it with jokes that are terrible and all this cringe. And that CGI. And a CGI and stuff. It's that cr- even Angry Video Game Nerds said, it's, um... 
it's the equivalent of it's the, he says it's it's no better than that movie The Haunted Mansion in terms of CGI like the one with Eddie Murphy yeah and also the Scooby Doo movie it's the same kind of piss poor animation I mean CGI uh, I guess with Jane Bond though I guess we get a lot of muscular guys going on her too then if that's the I case. Guess. Good luck with that, folks. She's already, like, over 50, I think, too. Oh, they can do a lot of Hollywood magic. Um, I don't know. I heard Dan Aykroyd's on board for Ghost, the new Ghostbusters, though. Bless his soul. <laughs> I know. I heard. You know, he's well, your you hero, know he's... right? <laughs> that nutcase. <laughs> Wait, you read my comment? Yeah, and you called Oh, because for some reason my comment disappeared on me. I couldn't find it ever. Oh, again. I deleted it. No, 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 no. Um, he, he, um, I think he's a well-privileged man to make those kind of calls. Well, you know, he, be, you know, he, he's like David Hart, David Leap, a heart level of batshit crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, he was saying all these years Ghostbusters 3 is going to happen when there was no hope whatsoever. So, I mean, maybe he's just like, please take this movie <laughs> with a grain of salt. It's good. You know, the whole... The whole dream of Ghostbusters 3 died two years ago when Harold Ramis passed away. God yeah. rest your soul. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. I blame Bill Murray because he kept avoiding Bill Murray. <laughs> he kept just, I don't want to do it. Chasing after Bill Murray. <laughs> they made a movie. Like... <laughs> uh, oh. Why, Bill Murray? Why? <laughs> but he wanted to do an animated one where he died, so... Why didn't he then? Then he finally uh, he came with these stupid terms and conditions. I would be in it, but I want to die and be a ghost. <laughs> Garfield was kind to him. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's your movie news, folks. Mm. Uh, Street Fighter V. Um, new fighter, Ibuki. 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 That name. She returns. I don't know who she is. I'm sorry. I'm not a that big of a Street Fighter fan, but Ibuki... What is she, Sean? And <laughs> She's a girl. Is no. she available now? Uh, actually, it's been delayed till the end of June, from what I could gather. They delayed um, the character. Yeah, they delayed... I mean, it was announced for June, but usually DLC launches at the beginning. Save it for E3. <laughs> kind of, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll announce more fighters. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, Abuki is supposed to be released... Um, at the end of June, um, she's from, I believe she got her start in the Street Fighter Alpha series. There's been so many Street Fighter games, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she looks really cool. Glad to have her back. I always liked her. I know a lot of people are like half and half. They're like, I love Ibuki. I'm glad she's back. Other half, mm, get her away. Where's Blanca? <laughs> Blanca. Blanca. I sure hope Cloud is the next DLC <laughs> Oh, fighter. God, if he was in, people would be like, oh. <laughs> Because we can't get enough of that cloud. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh man, what a what a time mm. this is! <laughs> what a time to be alive. Technology. Mm. <laughs> I would be afraid too. What? <laughs> that video you showed me earlier of technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, technology. no, I was like, Sean, that that woman, that old lady, she had a lot to be afraid of. <laughs> technology. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, but in all honesty, some some more tragic news. Um, what? This is a bit old. This is probably about a month old, but oh, okay. I just want to say it. I um, gotcha. Besides Alan Young, who was a beloved for DuckTales, uh, Makiko Futaki, he was a key animator for Studio Ghibli. Uh, he passed away recently on uh, May 13th at the age of 57. And uh, Mr. Futaki was known for animating such uh, classic Japanese movies such as Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Whisper of the Heart, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, From Up on Poppy Hill, The Wind Rises, Princess Mononoke, and the critically acclaimed film Akira. Mm. And um, as well as many others. But uh, yeah, a lot of these movies... I grew up on, as well as a lot of other people. Oh, yeah, we all did. Grew up on these, you know, My Neighbor Totoro, of, of course. Of course, our favorite, whatever, our favorite. Is that your favorite from him or no? 
from Studio Ghibli. Yeah. That was my first one. Yeah, that's so definitely my first one. That will always hold a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. And um, but you know, I <laughs> I started watching many others mm -hmm. that I, I just started finding at local libraries, and uh, I'm actually making it one of my missions in life to collect. Mm -hmm. Not, if not all, as many Studio Ghibli films as I can. Yeah. And uh, because they're really good. Oh, they're amazing. They're like they Japanese, take, Japanese Disney. That's what you, I call they them. They take you away to a distant land. They're just these coming-of-age stories, these wonderful stories, stories about love, about growing up. About moving on, they're just really good stories, mm -hmm. and um, that they they really they really they really move the imagination. Mm -hmm. And um, Mr. Futaki, thank you very much for everything. May you rest in peace, good sir. Whew. Random thought. <laughs> This is my random thought. Why did you go at the end of that? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. I was trying to like breathe silently, but then. <sighs> Ooh. All right. <laughs> Plus, looking at you with that, you looking at me with that face. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying not because we're in a <sighs> laughy tappy mood again. Oh, when are we not? Yeah, it's true. Uh, anyway, random. This is my random thought or question of the week. Okay. Random thing. Oh. Okay. I saved it for I, I saved it for this because you know recently yes I know I'm late I just saw Captain America Civil War so I'm back in the Spider-Man mood and me and Sega Sean the other day we talked about Spider-Man 3 the game <laughs> yeah <laughs> that wonderful game oh, and um the different versions of it which got me thinking about the better one Spider-Man 2 the game and there's this p part of the game that has always bothered me 12 straight years since it first came out. Well, now I just thought about it recently. I don't know if it's just memory, you know, if I just don't remember certain parts or what. But let me ask you this, Sean. Okay. I don't think they never followed up on this part of the game. In the beginning of the game, I think this was right before Peter was late for Dr. Connors' class. I don't know if you remember, the beginning of the game, there's this... Um, woman, this black woman, she was getting chased uh, by these armed robbers yeah, and she yeah, had a briefcase. I'm not allowed to tell you, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> they were all after her briefcase. All these guys, these armored thugs and Spider-Man, you go over there, beat them all up and then you give the briefcase back to the woman and uh, Parker was like, what's in the briefcase anyway? She's like, I'm not allowed to tell you. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay then, that's the end of the mission. So, and they never followed up on it. Mm -hmm. I don't think they ever followed up on that, did well, they? To be because, <laughs> because I'm like, I thought that briefcase was going to be a big plot thing. It was going to yeah. be a big part of the story. Mm -hmm. But never, never mentioned again, what's in the briefcase anyway? Even though, you know, I'm just curious. After all, I saved your life from like 10 armored thugs. Oh, I can't tell you. Yeah, I know. I love the fighting in there. You run to guys, boom! I <laughs> just like they watch in the air. I'm like, oh, take it easy. Their legs are all just. I know they're like, oh man, not cool. The like, guy always the funniest, says that. The funniest kind of henchmen flying since the Arkham series. The ragdoll <laughs> physics are just awful. They're great. They're freaking though. shaking around. They're hilarious. <laughs> they're great. Oh. oh man, but um, to be honest, I have not played through the game in eons. So oh, me either. I'm just saying, like. They never followed up on it. To be thing. honest, I don't remember if they ever did. Like, I know there was the shocker was in there, right? And stuff, the shocker. Yeah, he was like, this may come as a shock to you, but I'm back. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe we have to play it through again. Because I do want to play it through again, but and listen to that lovely voice acting. But um, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I just can't remember every single plot of that game. Maybe, maybe something with the shocker. Maybe... I don't know, to be honest. Maybe it was just a... That just always bothered the hell out of me for years, even mm -hmm. when I was little. Yeah. No, I, don't, I think they just forgot about it. <laughs> I think they were just like... Just a random mugging of a top-secret briefcase that was never revealed. Just importance. Even another scene that bothered me still. <laughs> that when Spider-Man teams up with Black, Black Cat, mm -hmm. and you guys fight Shocker, and you guys do missions together, there was this one cutscene like, during the middle of it... Where Black Cat's like, I, I gotta go. And she, you know, she act she's acting weird, but they don't really explain much. And Parker's like, oh, what's wrong? I, I gotta go, I gotta go. And, Period. And then you meet her again, everything's back to normal Period. again. Huh? Period. Oh, really? Yeah. 
okay, because I thought she was wounded from shocker no, no, from somebody. Or when I was a little kid, I was <laughs> I always made a joke saying she's got diarrhea. <laughs> the fucking liquid diarrhea. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I know what you're saying. Period. Okay. I'm just kidding. I, Why I, are you I taking me seriously? Because she had her stomach. Period. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, oh. I think Toby's like, what was that all about? <laughs> me and the ladies, they just don't get along. <laughs> oh, they're replacing you with younger guys. <laughs> Just replace it with an eight-year-old. <laughs> Web! <laughs> Shoot! The blows up of the kids are... Ah! Oh, no. And May just keeps on getting younger. But, uh... But by the way, though, are we going to talk about Aunt May really quick? No. Wait, do you know her name? That's later in the new movie. I don't know. <laughs> I looked her name up because I watched um, Black... I, I know you would, because you're thirsty. No, it's not. Well, maybe. No, it's not that. Um, I was watching Black Nerd Comedy or whatever, and um, he why? said, "Why?" I mean, he does good stuff. I like him. He um, he reviewed Civil War. Spoiler review. Oh, he's just another Aaron. Oh uh-huh. <laughs> no, yeah, everybody. No, just another, you're just another. Aaron. <laughs> no, um, but he said her name, and I searched her up. Seems to be a little porn history there, and I'm like, woo. Oh no! I, I I bet you'd be right up in that, huh? Would you uh, uh web? Would not you, really. Uh... That kind of got me mad. <laughs> <laughs> you mad? <laughs> what? In what? the theater, I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> why? I'm like, they're ruining it. <laughs> But why? Standing on the edge of my crime spin. <laughs> but why are you mad anymore? It's just I don't know. Candy. I just didn't care because I was like, oh sex service. I kind of did too. I was just like, eh. <laughs> I mean, she was nice, but like, not mm. like, oh. It was, think... just, it was just filler for her 10 seconds as the role. Because yeah. you're like, we're just going to throw Spider-Man in for the big fight scene. We'll just show them how, how they meet. And they live in an apartment too, which I was shocked about. Because they yeah. always lived in a little small house in the suburbs. And Captain America had that little moment with them too. Where are you from? The Bronx or yeah. whatever? <laughs> I'm from Queens. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> Oh, I bet the audience in Brooklyn was going nuts with that. Ant-Man was probably like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm surprised. We already talked about this, but I'm surprised Celery Man didn't ruin Paul Rudd's career. As Nobody's you guys gonna, don't know, there's a... Nobody's going to get it. <laughs> go on YouTube and just type in Celery Man. That's all you need to know. Celery Man, Paul Rudd. That's there's a show called Tim and Eric. That we're big, big fans of. It's on Adult Swim. Adult Swim. But they had minor guest stars back in the day. This was before Paul Rudd was big, big. Um, he did a skit for that show, which was like a t- two-minute skit called mm-hmm. Celery Man. And, you know, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm glad that didn't ruin his career, because usually it's those little things that keep you from going. Oh, yeah. Decker gets a new season. Decker was, yeah, Decker, June 17th. We're going to be at the hotel for Indie Pop. I already knew that. I can't believe well, you didn't know that. Are you excited? We get to watch it? No, no. Come on, we get to watch it. Steve Brule's coming back as well. I don't really. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the doctor everyone deserves. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to stop because no one knows what we're talking about. They're like, oh, X out now. Because what normal person watches Adult Swim? <laughs> oh, oh. But on this high note, <laughs> be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Super Game Strikers podcast, the official podcast of Game Strikers. And be sure to like us on Game Strikers on Facebook. This is Kaiju Lu and Sega Sean. Take care, folks. Bye bye. Tune in the next week.